What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and the last few days have just been absolutely insane. Uh, we were on YouTube gaming, we were even giving game theory a run for their money, our streams are constantly fighting for first place on the platform, really fun stuff but the DLC characters came through, we're all enjoying them, Kamui is definitely going to be one of my most used characters. Will she be used over Robin? Can't really say that for a fact, but I'm enjoying her right now. Anyways, guys, I want to thank all of the new viewers, subscribers that have joined on board. We gained over 3,000. That's insane in one day. Now, of course, it does say here that I lost 900, but it's basically YouTube's verification system to ensure that these accounts aren't botted or anything. It usually goes through this when a channel gets an abnormally high amount of subscribers in a day. It's happened to me before. They'll jump back on once YouTube realizes that, oh, okay, these are actually authentic. But anyways, this has been a crazy week. And now I want to make this video because with that many people jumping on board at one time, I've got to acknowledge your existence. And I want to give this as a forward thank you for deciding to give my channel a chance. Now, in terms of what I cover on here, it's basically variety. The, the philosophy that I've always had from the beginning of when I started YouTube back in 2007, if it gives me an erection, it will be posted and talked about. That's basically the gist of it. So a lot of people, you know, the running joke is he's a news channel. I mean, understandably so, but I'm not exactly the source that you want to keep up with if you want up to the minute news on things Nintendo. That's not me. And it's never been what I really do. All I do is talk about things that get me excited. And sometimes it can get me so excited that I happen to talk about it up to the minute. But it's not a guarantee. If you truly do want Nintendo information like that in that format, there are plenty of other channels out there that do it arguably a lot better than me. And Game Explain, definitely one of them. Those boys handle it over there when it comes to putting out Nintendo news up to the minute and keeping you informed on all things, you know, centralized Nintendo at least. Me... I'm more of, of a hype channel, and so a lot of people, they look at my channel and the concept, and they say, well, what the fuck is the purpose of this? All he's doing is reciprocating, he's regurgitating, there, there's no point in watching this guy when I can get the information from someone else, and by all means, I 100% agree with you. I am not what you want to keep up with if you want news like that. I mean, that, that that's not me, you know, I, I don't do that. What I do, basically, is take on the fan position like I've always thought of myself as not a news reporting channel or some kind of a Nintendo authority but rather all I am is somebody who's fucking excited about the games that he wants to play maybe it all stems from me never being able to own any real major consoles as a kid so I was always on the outside looking in when it came to the hottest releases I, I never really owned anything like an Xbox or a PS3 or a PS2 um, the only thing I had in my life was a GameCube and a Dreamcast and all a bunch of handhelds, you know? So, I mean, maybe it's just that excitement of finally being able to engage in a world that I was only able to peer at from the outside. That's what I think it may come down to. But I get really excited when it comes to certain games and topics. Um, and a lot of them happen to centralize around Nintendo. So I will be talking about those things. And if they get me hype, I'll be, I'll, you know, I'll bring them up. That's basically the way my channel works. So... Yeah, I'm not trying to be something I'm not. I, I, I ain't no Nintendo authority, but I'm just some dude who will lose his mind on, about something on camera, basically. Regardless of what the fuck my, I do here, you decided to subscribe. So just to give you a little bit of backstory, I started YouTube back in 2007, quite a while ago. And the first thing that I was posting was rap battles. I know it's, it's kind of like, what? Huh? I mean, I was heavily into it back in the day. Freestyle rap battles, by the way. You know, not all that written shit. Flips off the dome, all that stuff. And I mean, it was stuff that I enjoyed back then, you know. And I, I kind of had a love for the camera from early on because my friend Ben, he was the cameraman and I would always be hosting the battles or I'd be rapping in them. And it, I don't know, man. It just I, I had a thrill in terms of making professional looking camera footage, even though we can you know call that a far cry from professional. But I still enjoyed it nonetheless. And maybe that was somewhat of a foreshadow as to what I'd be doing with my life later on. And if you want to go even deeper in the foreshadowing, I actually had a Game Boy camera when I was a little kid, and it was probably my favorite game to play, point blank period, from the fact that you could take so many pictures of things. I had the printer. You can make little video clips. It was awesome. And, you know, my mom says, you know, I always knew you'd be good with that camera ever since you were, you know, yeah, of course. She, of course she called it. This is basically now where things kind of take a weird turn because I go from rap battles to Pokemon, it's a little bit strange. I mean, I don't know. I can't really name the years for you guys. It's been so long. 2007 up to 2016. We're talking almost a decade, my boy. Rap battles to Pokemon battles because, like I said, my interest had changed. And at the time, I was pretty heavy into Pokemon. I had always been heavy into Pokemon, but the competitive scene 
really gave me um, a lot of passion back then. So this is something that I was doing on a regular basis to an extent. And, you know, I was even though I had these main things that I dabbled in, there were all a bunch of subcategories that I would always do. You know, like, sure, I was doing Pokemon, but I was also doing um, current events and news stories. And this is something else that I like talking about as well, too. Just my opinion on certain hot things that happen in the community. Not necessarily up-to-date news, but just more of a, oh, this is what I think of the news, or this is what I feel people should think of the news. I mean, I don't know, you know, just edgy stuff like that, you know? Considering a whole lot of crazy stuff that had happened in my life leading up to the year 2013 it's the beginning of 2013 where i started doing youtube as somewhat of a professional career even though i was really small back then so you can't really call it professional and even what i do now you can't really call it professional 2013 the beginning is where i realized okay you know what if i can make youtube my career you know this is something i really want to work hard at then this is when it's going to start and three years later i don't think i'm doing too bad obviously i ain't perfect and there are things that i can improve on and of course thanks to the suggestions of you guys i have improved on a lot of things but you know we still have a long way to go this journey is far from finished but i feel like in that time period we've covered a lot of things and like i said subcategories are through the roof on this channel. There are going to be a lot of things that maybe I covered beforehand that you were interested in and that I don't cover anymore and now you're pissed off at me. That's just sadly the way it's got to be. I mean, as much as I would love to be able to rekindle some of those old flames for you guys, my passion is what basically runs this YouTube channel. And it's not necessarily a dedicated flow of this kind of content or that kind of content. Everything is based on what gives me an erection. And what may give you an erection one day may not do so the next. That's just the basis of it. And I do apologize to anyone who has ever felt like I hurt them in some way by not posting the content that they wanted. Pokemon fiasco was pretty crazy back in the day. A lot of people are pissed off because they feel like I was being ingenuine with who I am because I'm not doing Pokemon anymore. That's where you came from. How could you not like it anymore? You're being fake with people. Or maybe I just lost interest in the series. Uh, maybe the community turned me off from how negative people were and other battlers. Maybe I was tired of being beat down all the time for making one slight mistake in a competitive battle. Or maybe I'm just tired of the generic format that Pokemon seems to rehash every single year. I mean, of course, if it works, don't fucking fix it. But I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of reasons. But at the end of the day here, what I could be passionate about one day may just alter. There are some things that are set in stone, but other things as well, too that may not be as much and you know pokemon was just one of those things but that's the case with a lot of things on this channel everything that i do i'm passionate about but those passions can change over time attack on titan i was really passionate about back in the day eventually it tapered off but now that the hype is kind of picking up back again for season two it may just return back to the channel in the same way that it was before but no guarantees everything is based upon what i feel excited about hopefully that gives you guys more of a perspective in terms of what i do who i am and why the fuck i'm here and hopefully why the fuck you're here you guys are basically the main heart of everything with this whole youtube thing and i wouldn't be where i am if it wasn't for you guys so i want to say a big big ass fucking thank you for supporting me up to this point and also a big thank you for you deciding to embark on this strange journey with me throughout the fucking cesspool of the internet known as youtube i appreciate everything you guys and you know some of you might get turned off by the way a lot of people interact in the comments it's okay no one truly means you any harm here. Things just tend to get a little bit strange. And I mean, I, everyone's like, oh, do you know of your status as a meme haven? Of, co of course I do. I, I mean, to be honest, I find it fucking hilarious, which is why it's probably continued up to this point and in such a robust manner. But this is the way things are done over here. I apologize if, it, if it's strange. You don't have to go to the comments section. You can just watch the videos and enjoy yourself because the comments go to a whole nother level. But still, I love interacting with them. So you might just have a chance to talk to me um, after I post a video because usually I'm always like shooting people text uh, rather shooting people text shooting people messages down there So that's the way it is. Anyways, if you want to do me a favor You could introduce yourself in the comments as well, too You know, I, I put myself out there and you don't have to do the same But if you do so i will be really appreciated I would love to know how you found me where you came from what you're interested in in my channel things you're looking forward to that you want me to cover per se in the future and other things like that. I mean, interacting with you dudes is probably the highlight of my YouTube time here, you know? I mean, I guess you can tell from some of my older videos, I kind of talk in the comments a lot, but 
you know, this is just something that I enjoy. So if you have anything to say, you have any questions or you just want to talk or say what up, let me know in the comments. I'll be responding all day. So I'll see you dudes down there and I'll talk to you in the next one. And thank you for deciding to support my YouTube channel. And hopefully this is the beginning of a good relationship with me and a lot of you newer guys. Older guys, please be easy on them. You know, I mean, they, they have to be they have to be eased in, my boy. Don't just hit them with the memes 100%, okay? I'll talk to you guys later on. Take care of yourselves. And, of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.